This is a 2012 MacBook Pro. It has a Core i7 and 6GB of RAM. In this video, we're going to be stripping the absolute donkeys out of it because, well, it needs a new keyboard. As I tried to clean it with a sponge, but I, I got a bit too much water on there. We're also going to put my bit in the bottom and make some holds for better cooling. But to replace the keyboard, we first need to flip the MacBook over and remove the 10 screws holding it in the back plate, which I already did. We then need to remove the fan and the screws and, well, the connectors holding in the mother. From there, we can remove the speakers and the antenna at the top. Next, we can unscrew these two screws holding in this thing so we can take it off. Now, we need to remove the back light for the keyboard. We can pull this plastic thing off and then, well, the 64 screws holding the keyboard in. Once done, we need to go to our donor housing and remove the keyboard from this thing. Now we can place it into the MacBook and screw it in. By the way, I did test beforehand to check if this keyboard was working before I removed it. Once screwed, we can stick the backlight on and screw down the support. Now we can put the mother back in and screw it down. After that, we can screw the antenna in place and then the speaker. I'm not going to install the DVD drive mainly because I don't use it, but it also might help with cooling and make it a little bit lighter. Once done, we can now start drilling the bottom cover. I'm not going to drill the original cover because the one that was on there was in good condition. So instead, I'm going to be drilling this one I got from the other MacBook. If you want to know how I got this sheet, then the link for that will be in the description below. In the instructions it says don't use a drill bit that's over 2mm, but I wanted to see what would happen if I used a 2.5mm drill. As I quickly found out the drill bit is too big, so I swapped it for a 2mm one. To remove the imperfections, I attach the countersink to a screwdriver. So whilst I do this, please enjoy the selection of Roblox Hobby music that I'm going to be playing throughout the rest of this video. Once everything is screwed in, we can reinstall the 10 screws holding in the back cover. Now I'm going to drill a hole into the case so it can get more airflow. So now that's done, let's start it up and get Windows installed.
I first tried installing Tiny11, but after a day of trying, it wouldn't work. So I installed Tiny10 instead, which is Windows 10 but with all the bloatware removed. Now that's installed, let's see if this laptop is still usable 12 years later. With an Intel Core i7 and 8GB of RAM, let's see how well it scores in Geekbench. So with a single core score of 606, this laptop will be good for lightweight tasks or 1080p video editing. Whilst running Roblox, we're getting a solid, I'll say about 45 FPS in Car Crushers 2. This is on low settings, by the way. Cranking the settings up, I'd say it's now around 25 FPS. Now let's see how well it will handle Minecraft Online. Quite good, actually. So thank you people for watching, uh, please like, subscribe, all that stuff, and we'll see you next week.